Welcome, 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 welcome. Let's give it for my Virgos. I forgot to draw you a card. Okay, at the end of the deck, like I said, you had, what are they stressing? Hope and loyalty. Have some hope. Be be honest with yourself, okay? Um, but listen, you had, at the very end when I cut it, before I cut it, it was the Ace of Pence and the Devil. So it's your choice. Are you, you want a new start? Or are you going to stop yourself? Are you going to let the lower energy take over? Don't do that, okay? Don't do that. So let's pull you a card. For your best advice, oh, and again, you know, and now we got confidence and loyalty. It won't let me cut it again, okay? So, best advice for my Virgos regarding our love, all right? It's not my Virgos to make this choice. For those who have a choice, that's too many, to get themselves out of the situation. For those who are not dealing with, you know, a situation that's out of their hands, especially if it's in your hands, okay? You pulled summon, all right? And I just, I opened it right to it. When you choose this card as a symbol to create your own your own path, okay, your own spirituality spirituality. You know, it says get in touch with your own inner magic before you make a move to go forward. Okay? Because you don't want to go in the wrong direction. It was just eleven eleven, that portal's open for you. How do you communicate with your powers or me or your goddess? Now is the time to pray, meditate, and acknowledge every experience that you that is being taken. Don't take your next step lightly. You have the power to summon your spirit, summon your courage, or even me. If you're inquiring about something important, breathe and wait before you see a sign, before you act. Choose another card if you need more understanding. Okay, so, and you did have the magician reversed, all right? And then we got movement, all right? So this is on you, all right? So get yourself out of this, this situation, okay? So, if you have been waiting for something, you'll soon have clarity. If you don't already have the clarity, you will get the answers you, you thought would never come. You will you will be closer to things that you thought were out of your reach. Perhaps this card predicts a trip that you've always wanted to take. This symbol of movement can indicate both change of scenery and a real shift in direction. No matter what your symbol holds for your question, know that a wondrous change is possible. This is the time that you make your move. Okay? So it's exactly like I said. Only you can get yourself out of this situation, my little Virgos. Okay? Use the magic of the universe. Use the power. Use the pull. Maybe some of you are getting out of a situation like that, and you're just kind of like at your crossroads. Like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Like, this is a hard, hard decision, and I get it. But your only way out, I'm telling you right now, is for you to put one foot forward and move. You have to. Okay? Um, it's, it's your way out. Okay? I'm going to pull you guys an oracle. Because you're my birthday babies. And you're in a tough situation. Okay? So. Let's see where you're at. Some of you feel like people are dealing with magic right now and you're not liking it. Alright? Like it's just like a family curse type thing. I can see it. I can feel it. Break the cycle. Alright? Break the cycle. sitting on a pillow, guys, so I'm a little higher. All right, my Virgos, my birthday babies. A beautiful, beautiful oracle card for my Virgos. Something flipped. Yeah, okay, middle world, okay? So feeling this to me, it, being in the middle, I, I don't know why I feel trapped by saying this card, but you're not. But look at, like, it's like you're in a bubble. It, it might not even mean that, so I don't even want to say that, Okay. Um, <clears throat> but it's the nine, so it's at the end to have another one. So you must be feeling a little stagnant. So, 36. Oh, I should have grabbed my other glasses. Maybe I can see. All right, the essence of this card. The middle of the world is the realm from a day-to-day -day reality or the playground of living. It is the present moment where everything is happening, yet in the middle of the world created for the future, but not only the past, it's the mirror, it's the invisible realms. When things are in, right in the middle of the world, heaven and earth supporting everything. When they are not right in between heaven and earth, it must be brought into order. Okay, so I knew there was authority going on too. All right, so it says, the middle of the world shows up when conditions are favorable to your undertaking. Do not hesitate, move forward as heaven and earth are smiling upon you. This is your time. So go after it. Be mindful. Don't be reckless. The world is your playground. And the world is requiring great effort in order for you to accomplish things with ease now. Okay? So, the medicine. Do not try to, do not try to correct 
in the earth of what needs to be corrected into the heavens. The resources to support the change and endeavors you are considering are not, are not ready or available to you yet. So if it's important to ask for help, especially if you feel invincible, from helpers from the upper world, for now, you must wait. And that's why you had summon. Holy shit, are my cards talking to you guys today? Okay, summon the spirits, okay? Summon the universe for your help. Only you can use this magic, okay? And I, I'm not saying magic, like black magic in a bad way. The whole world, love is magic, okay? A lot of things are magic. You got to look at it that way. Um, they're really asking you to get in tune with spirit, with the universe, okay? Um, I love you guys. It's time for you to make a move, okay? I wish you the best.